The Grolics, he's one of the top dogs in town. Put your hands together for Hollywood's own Andrew Orvidal, everybody. Oh, I got that, but yeah, Father Time. He's on the side of Father Time, so I did screw up the intro like I thought. Uh, on the side of Mother Nature, this guy, I absolutely love him. He was a former winner of the Comedy Works New Faces contest. Another favorite here at Vine Street. Put your hands together for Ellie Woolsey on the side of Mother Nature. Going, going first, Elliot Woolsey. Don't worry about fucking up the intro, man. It's perfectly natural. If you only had more time to prepare. Cheap shot right up front. Just thought of that from here to there. The time it took for me to get here, I naturally thought of that joke. You guys, it's Father's Day. Did you guys call your fathers? Fathers, you call your fathers? Did you thank them for what he's done for you, your father, today? Did you call Father Time today? Did you call Father Time and thank him for everything he's done today for you? Did you call up Father Time and thank you, ladies, for making your boobs sag over the years? Gentlemen, did you call Father Time and thank him for making your balls sag over time? Everybody, did you call and thank Father Time for killing Casey Kasem today? Did you call and thank Father Time? Did you call and thank Father Time for everything he's done? Yeah, fa Casey Kasem's time was up. It's a real bitch. <laughs> Top 40 reasons? Father Time's a dick. <laughs> Number one, I'm Casey Kasem. He's just a watered-down version of death, you guys. You Google image Father Time. He's carrying a scythe and an hourglass. It's fucked up, man. What's that scythe for? To literally cut down your life, you guys. Uh, he's not your father. He's a goddamn serial killer. He's a creepy old guy who married Mother Earth, a much younger and more vibrant lady. And why won't she leave him? Probably because of the fucking scythe that he carries around. I'd be afraid to leave him as well. Father Time. Time! Is there anything that's not anxious about time? Let's give the uh, time list, everybody. These are all the things that when I Google time came up. Time zone. Those are stressful. Your time is up! Casey Kasem. Time limit. We all have one. Test. Those are stressful. Time out. It's what ruined the last generation. It's what ruined you and me. If we'd been hit a few more times like nature intended, maybe we wouldn't be such assholes and we know how to get a job other than hosting a comedy show at Vine Street Pub and doing dishes. <laughs> that was a double burn, Bobby Crane, Kevin O'Brien. <laughs> Two for one. I had time for both. People talk about killing time. Here's a quote. I said, quotes about time. Men talk of killing time while time quietly kills them. Dion Bruchant. <laughs> Fuck, are you stressed out? I am. <laughs> time is the fire in which we burn. Delure Schwartz. Time travel. Impossible. What a dick tease. Father time. There's a couple ways to say that. There's father time, the personification of time, but there's also spending a little father time, which I can't do because my dad left when I was six and went to Mexico with Charlotte. <laughs> That's my only experience with father time. <laughs> time waits for no man. What a dick. <laughs> Just wait a second, dude. <laughs> for no one? Literally no one? And that's a universal man, ladies. He also doesn't wait for ladies. I bet he doesn't even hold the door open. What a dick. <laughs> Father time for you. Behind the times, no time to lose. Time marches on, better be on time. Time deadlines. Movies about time, butterfly effect. <sighs> Enough said. <laughs> All good things must come to an end. Why? Fucking time. Remember that time you spent out in nature when you were next to that most beautiful thing you've ever seen in nature? For me, it was a glacier. And I sat next to that glacier for six hours and watched it calve in my kayak. And I could have stayed there forever. You know why I couldn't? Because my time was up and I had to go serve tables on a fucking cruise ship to old white people. Fuck you, time! Why can't I stay in nature? 
Time is on my side? Yeah, right, dude. We're all going to die. All the bad times have been due to Father Time. The Depression, bad times. Thanks a lot, Father Time. World War II, bad times. 1982 to 1987, bad times. For me, anyway. <laughs> Who would you rather spend time with? Honest question. Would you rather spend an hour with nature? Or would you rather spend an hour with an hour? Tick tock. Tick tock. We get it, Elliot. You're tall. You don't have to leave the microphone so tall. Okay, there we go. Perfect. Perfect. As a real life father, I feel sort of handicapped by the uh, 3 a.m. start time of this debate, but. I met my peak mental performance at about 2 p.m., and it lasts for about 8 to 10 minutes, but <laughs> I drank a half cranberry juice, half soda water before I got up here to really give myself a little extra pep. Um, real quick, <laughs> real quick, some of the stuff that Elliot said right off the bat, just total falsehoods. He blamed your sagging boobs and balls on father time. He's confusing gravity with time. Just simple science. This debate isn't about gravity versus Mother Nature. It's about Father Time. Um, blamed him for being deaf just because the guy carries an hourglass and a scythe. Maybe he has a day job cutting wheat. You don't know. Don't judge so quick. Uh, Elliot said the sentence, time zones are stressful. That's not true for anyone ever. <laughs> Never. No one thinks time zones are stressful. Because if you do, you're literally one of the stupidest people imaginable. <laughs> They're huge, and when you travel between them, someone will always tell you, relax. <laughs> relax. <laughs> what the fuck, Eastern Standard Time, fucking. <laughs> Kevin O'Brien doesn't even work at Vine Street anymore. That's an outdated reference. <laughs> also, Elliot's dad sounds really cool. Mexico? I spend a lot of time with four and six-year-olds. I want to go to Mexico with someone named Charlotte immediately. <laughs> immediately. Elliot sat by a glacier for six hours. You have the most time on your hands, Elliot. <laughs> the most. Okay, real quick. Uh, first of all, it's Father's Day, okay? So that's the end. I, I don't know who's scheduled this debate on Father's Day, but Father Time gets this one day, all right? He spends the other 364 days of the year putting up with our bullshit. He gets this day, okay? This is his day. This is to pay him back for all the times you ate all the good cereal and didn't save him any, or knocked his bike over and scratched up the paint, or lost one of his Lego chess pieces, or ruined his sex by knocking on the door. Yeah, okay, this is about me also. But father to father, I stand with father time. Yeah. What has father time ever done to you? Nothing. He doesn't make your boobs sag. doesn't make your He does nothing. He does nothing but occasionally pose for the most depressing paintings on earth to make ends meet. Uh, he lets you live your own life like a great dad should. Want to get a nose ring and a Primus tattoo? Father time doesn't give a shit. Go for it. It's part of life, making mistakes, and Father Time is cool with it. Mother Nature? Mother Nature, all up in your shit. Every natural disaster is apparently Mother Nature trying to find balance, or Mother Nature is just out of whack. Oh, cool, so basically Mother Nature is just a bipolar meth addict who's like wandered off her meds <laughs> from time to time, and then people die. That's cool. Yeah, Mother Nature, just in a nutshell, terrifying. That's just terrifying. Even when Mother Nature is at her best, who are her strongest advocates? Hippies and those clipboard people outside of bookstores. The worst people in the world feel the most strongly about Mother Nature. To sum it up, Father Time, chill-ass dad. I think we could just summarize them that way. Mother Nature, crazy, terrible, unpredictable, hippie-loving, murdering, psycho mom. Let's talk about Father Time and what kind of dad he could be. When's the last time you see Father Time? 
You know the only time you see father time, ladies and gentlemen, is on New Year's Eve when he refuses to hang out with anybody but a naked baby. How fucking creepy is that? <laughs> Where is father time the rest of the year? He's knocking on doors in his community, letting him know that the judge ordered him to let him know that he was living there. <laughs> Spends his time with a baby, you guys. Yeah, there's natural disasters. There's, I like to call them earth palate cleansers, but if you want to be negative about it, that's fine too. That's natural. Uh, negativity is his natural state. But, uh, at least there's a little give and take with Mother Nature. At least she giveth and she taketh away. There might be natural disasters and diseases, but guess what? We also have sunsets and fingers in the butt, both very natural. <laughs> I cannot emphasize that enough. Both very, very natural. Gross, fingers in the butt. Again, let me say it, perfectly natural. Father time doesn't let you win at all. Father time is constantly sucking your beauty, your life force, day by day. We all feel it, okay? He's like the stepdad who will never let you win at basketball. Like the much, the much taller dad that every time you go up for a layup, he smacks it out of your hand and is like, Not this time, motherfucker! I know how you're gonna die! Mother Nature doesn't do that. She has waterfalls, man. Go chase some. <laughs> Would you rather do drugs in Mother Nature or with Father Time? Again, tick-tock, motherfuckers. What would you rather do? <laughs> Sit next to a waterfall and just watch a clock melt like a Salvador Dali painting. You don't want to do that. I've done that. Don't wonder about the mysteries of time. Wonder about the mysteries of nature. It's beautiful. You wonder about time, and then you just start thinking about where we're going to go, which is pretty sad, you guys. You know we're all headed into oblivion because of time. It's only a matter of time before we all die. I'm sorry to get heavy, but it's true. I saw a lot of shoulders slump, but it's time we faced it. <laughs> and after we die, don't worry about it. Not only are you going to die, everybody's going to die. The earth is going to die. You know how the earth is going to die? In a matter of time, the sun is going to go out. And we're going to stop living. If that doesn't happen, you know what's going to happen first? We're on collision course with the Andronima galaxy. And once that hits us, we'll be torn into oblivion. That's what time has to offer us, ladies and gentlemen. You know what Mother Nature has to offer us? Masturbation and goddamn waterfalls. Vote for Mother Nature. Thank you very much. First of all, sweet TLC reference, Elliot. Relevant when Kevin O'Brien worked here. Um, <laughs> real quick, Elliot, uh, called Natural Disasters Earth's Palate Cleansers. Elliot, did you run the Nazis PR campaign for them? <laughs> As a stepdad myself, never let a kid win at basketball, ever. Don't ever do that. If you can stuff a kid going up for a shot, d take it every time, always. <laughs> Uh, Elliot keeps talking about uh, how we all die. That's true, and we all do die. Who's killing you? Tornadoes, hurricanes, mudslides, natural disasters. Okay, going back. I'm glad Elliot brought up uh, the Father Time New Year thing. That is, that is a common image. Um, Father Time uh, holding the New Year baby. Yeah, it is gross, because check this out. That baby on January 1st, grows into Father Time in, in one year's time. What sort of a crazy glandular disorder is that? <laughs> he goes from a baby to an ancient old man. He's like in his 40s in June. He's a teenager <laughs> in February. His whole life blows by, what does he have to show for it? Nothing, he just, his only job, the year, holding the next unlucky baby to propagate this sick cycle of these poor genetic misfits <laughs> that we need for our calendars. We need to put an end for it, and put a, putting an end for it means voting Father Time, I guess. I don't know. I think, I think the way we treat Mother Nature sums up how we really feel about her. We shit on Mother Nature daily. Everyone in this room who drove here, you hate Mother Nature. You are her <laughs> shittiest children, myself included. Oh, sorry to fart out toxic gases in my antiquated machine 
that turns explosive liquid into bang bang power, but I'm in a hurry. And once we find out that plastic is never going away, what do we do? Did we immediately quit making plastic? Nope. We just started recycling it to turn plastic into more plastic while also making more new plastic but feeling okay about it because we're turning the new plastic into recycled new plastic. <laughs> I'm debating in a character tonight called Ben Roy. Uh, there's something <laughs> called the... <laughs> there's something called the Great Pacific Garbage Patch, which is an area about the size of half of uh, North America that just plastic garbage. Just shitloads of broken down pieces of plastic garbage in the water just floating around. So to put that into perspective, if Mother Nature were a person and you went over to her house and you took a shit in the middle of her living room, that would be so much better than the way you actually treat Mother Nature. So you can't possibly vote for Mother Nature while simultaneously shitting on her. Father Time has no effect on your life and you have no effect on his. You can't shit on time. Time can't shit on you. Time just transpires, and then you either pay attention to it or not. It doesn't even, it doesn't even matter. We all clearly hate Mother Nature and can't ruin her fast enough. Everyone in this room, serious mom issues with Mother Nature. So in closing, again, it's Father's Day. Did you give Father Time a new necktie? Did you get him a world's number one dad coffee mug from Goodwill? As a quick aside, the saddest possible place for a world's number one dad mug. <laughs> Did you get him something weird like a sheepskin steering wheel cover? No? Well, then give him the only gift that really matters tonight. Vote Father Time. All right, guys, you got to pick one more winner. If you are on the side of Mother Nature, let's hear for Mama's Boy, Elliot Woolsey, everybody. Pretty good. And if you're on the side of Father Time, let's hear it for fellow disenfranchised dad, Andrew Orbital, everybody. Hey, hey, hey! Andrew Orbital is your winner. Give it up for both Elliot and Andrew. Buy Andrew a new bike. Apparently the paint scratched on his and do not knock on the door when he's banging it out. Give it up for everybody else you've seen tonight as well. Brent the Great, Christy Bukley, Dr. Peter McGraw, Sam Talent, Chris Charpentier, Bobby Crane, Nathan Lund, and Kristen Rand, and also the Vine Street Pub. We'll be back next month. Godspeed, everybody. <laughs>